Howdy folks, it's Justin Charnel. I'm going to be talking about really easy to set up follow-up emails for your service-based business. And what this will do is, A, keep your customer happy because there's a certain level of give a damn that you're, you're, you're showing by following up when you know they need to be followed up. B, you'll keep your brand top of mind because they're like, oh yeah, I do need that done or I do need help or whatever the case is and they're actually reaching it out. C, you're going to have customers coming back and coming back and coming back because of A and B. So my, my current venture website, uh, one aspect of it is a job board. Um, there's a paid portion and a free portion. Standard posts, about 60 days. Let it ride. So what I have set up with, a, I use Agile CRM, CRM. I'm sure any kind of CRM um, will have this kind of capability. The second they hit buy now, submit, purchase, whatever the button's called, I have it written down. They're sent to a 45 day follow up. So they hit submit, 45 days later, there's an email that goes out from, from my email address that says, hey, did you find who you're looking for? If you did, great. If you didn't, what do we gotta do to remedy that? Do we need to repost it? Do we need to uh, extend it? Do we need to maybe figure out a way to do some uh, paid campaigns on it? We need to get you in touch with a recruiter. Whatever the case is, that's that automatically. 45 days later, out of their 60 days, have, have did you get what you wanted? And and it goes back to the three. It keeps them happy because I actually there's a certain level of give a damn that I'm showing by hey uh, we're not just trying to take your money and run like we want to make sure that you get what you're looking for. And they're going to keep coming back because there is that that level of did you get what you're looking for? So that's that's kind of that's kind of how I what I do for what I got going on. But thinking about this more, you know, say you're say you're a, a mechanic and you do oil changes. That's your thing. You, all you do is oil changes. You don't do anything else. You just oil change. Um, and let's say 90 days after, you know, you, you should get an oil change every 90 days. So what you do is you have you have you have Miss Donald come in in her Buick. She comes in today, gets her oil changed. She pays. She's happy. Boom. She's out the door. What you can do is 80, 85 days later, have either an email sent to her or something come up in your CRM that says, call, call Buick lady. Get her in for an oil change because she's due for one. And that's it. Whether it's send an email, call her up, send her a postcard, whatever your method, whatever you, you whatever medium you use to reach your customers, have it so it's just automatic. It, because it's one of those things where you set it up once, you say, all right, as soon as if they, they, this trigger, you know, standard po job post, Boom, a tag gets added, boom, they do that. They get added to this campaign, which is a wait timer, 45 days, an email send. That's it. Easy to, easy to set up. And you got a steady stream. Anytime somebody orders something, they're coming back. And they're, yeah, we're good. No, you suck. Uh, let's work together and figure things out. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Uh, going back to like the the oil change kind of scenario, I don't even have like a, a go to guy as far as oil changes go, because I don't. Yeah, I got the sticker, but there's no there's no extra. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing that that prompts me to go back to them because it's an oil change. I can go to you. I can go to you. I can go to you. If, if they just gave me a call, said, hey, I you know, it's been 85 days since your last year. I know you're due for an oil change uh, within the next week. Why don't we get something scheduled? Like, oh, I do. I do need that. Let's get it scheduled for next Wednesday. Easy. Easy. Repeat customers. Uh, you know, if you have something that's a quicker turnaround, uh, less, than, less than a week, say lawn care or something like that, probably 
not going to work so well. Say you were like, if you did lawn care on a case by case basis, no contracts, one one time thing. Lawn care is a terrible example for this, but just bear with me. You do something where it's a one time, cutting dogs, cutting dog hair. People get their dog's hair cut every two weeks. I don't know what it is. Say it's two weeks. They come in, a Buick lady comes in with her poodle on Monday. Next Wednesday, send out an email saying, hey, um, I know you're, you know, it's been about a week and a half since you've got your dog's hair cut. Why don't we get some scheduled for next week so you can come in and get it cut again? Boom. She's, oh yeah, I do need it done. Let's get, let's get poodle in there next Monday. Oh, easy, easy. You don't have to do anything. It just shows up, bam. Whether that's automatically triggered email or a flag on their account that says, hey, call these people up. They're ready to rock and roll for round two, or round three, and round 55 because that's how you just keep it going. Keep it going. Easy.